Barbies. We have to meet here today in the rice hold, rice bowl household. But um, uh, not gonna lie, I'm pretty tired. I just woke up. What time is it now? It's two fifty. 257 and I decided to wear a black shirt today so even if the shirt gets dirty the stains won't be too visible but today we got some chicken breast and could you believe it how much do you think this costed this was 977 like that doesn't make sense to me 977 like I don't know why it's too expensive in Japan this would have been like a three dollar situation and we also got ribs ribs which were on special and these were 11.93 so we probably have four meals of food here for twenty dollars four meals for twenty dollars folks i don't know if that's cheap i don't know if that's expensive and i think i should get my light right because it seems a bit dark one second i'm just gonna make my light folks i'm just gonna get my light should have prepared this in advance, but no one signed up to watch a live stream in a cave, right? So we're just going to we're just going to turn this light on. And for those who are joining, okay, one sec. I think that's better. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, and it's just hard to see the chat because um uh, right now I have the phone in the my tape roll because I don't really have a proper tripod but as I said we got the $11 ribs and the 9.77 chicken yo hi dark knight hi robin hi yo how's everyone doing and as I said it's a bit hard to see the chat right now my bad um uh light is so bad should I shut it off one sec here is is it better without the light it feels a bit dark, I don't know. We could put it off to the side like this, maybe. One sec. Maybe off to the side, just a bit low. Maybe like that. Yeah, so, as I said, for those who are just joining right now, we got chicken, and... We got pork. And... We can make this whip, wickety split super fast, but this has to be a live stream, and I don't I don't want to do like a huge amount of dishes after. So today's challenge is not going to be using a cutting board, because this is one of my pet peeves in the kitchen, having to um clean a cutting board with soap after having all these juices fly around everywhere, this and that. So we'll start with the ribs, get them in the oven, and fried chicken. And I want to test out a new cooking method just using cornstarch. So I'm not going to really season this chicken much. We're going to compensate with the sauce if it works out. Also, we have to use the last bit of this oil. Kind of looks radioactive, not going to lie. You see? Hey, how's it going, Kimi? How's it going? But um, uh, this, this is like when people on YouTube are like, oh yeah, you shouldn't use your oil more than two or three times. This oil that I just showed you has been used, I would say at least 15 times so okay this is we're going to retire this oil after that but that's why like if the chicken doesn't work out the, or the, sorry the cornstarch method doesn't work out i don't want to waste good pieces of chicken i don't want to waste like ginger i don't want to waste like a whole bunch of seasonings so we're just going to pack this dry see if the cornstarch adheres uh maybe a bit of salt and if it, if it becomes crispy we'll compensate it with some sauce after but without further ado let's start with the ribs so i'll just get out some I don't know if I have any aluminium. It seems like I do. And I'll get some salt and pepper. And we see a lot of people on the internet, you know, seasoning the ribs like crazy. They have a special brand blend. Well, brand, but um, a special blend. They have paprika. They have um, uh, I don't know, thyme. They have some kind of whole um, uh, cowboy blend, whatever they want to call it. But we don't have any of that here on the Rice Bowl channel, right? We only we only got salt salt and pepper today. And also, here, how should I do this? I don't, everything is too small in this kitchen, so I guess I'll place some parchment paper, uh, not parchment, aluminium foil on the, sh on the sheet. Someone's asking, where are you from, Robin? Where am I from? It's a bit complicated. My, my mom is from United States, Canada, with Irish and German roots. And 
I'm from, and my dad's from Japan, and I'm a mix of that. Okay, so we have the pan set up. And let's go. We'll just open. Should I? Should I? It might be better if I end like this. It's just that if I um, push down the camera like that, I can't see the chat, so I apologize. I'll, I'll catch up after. But um, here we go. We got the ribs. And number one thing about ribs, guys, it's... I didn't realize this until later on in life, but usually... Oh, there might not be one on this, but um, uh, sometimes there's a film on the back. And I, I, okay, here it is, here it is. Once, just, I just want to get this, I don't want to get this hand all um, corked up. But you see this, ASMR, ASMR. You see the skin that I'm pulling off right now? See all of this? At, at first, like, I was like, I'm going to keep this on because it crisps up in the oven. But it's just disgusting. It tastes like parchment paper, you know? It just tastes like parchment paper. Or something like that, you know? So now I make sure to take this off 300%. And you're like, why isn't he using his other hand? Why is this one hand cooking? Is he practicing to 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 be amputated or something like that? Is does Rice Bull have um uh, diabetes and is he going to lose an arm or something? Nah, that's not the situation. The situation is I need to keep one hand clean to handle the phone. So um uh, yeah, just to answer the questions. And I think I'm getting like a, quite a few comments in the chat. Can you say hi, Bryson, please? It would really make my day. Yo, Bryson, what's up? One in chat for Bryson. What's up, Bryson? Um, uh, hey, like I said, it's a bit tricky. This is dangerous. Don't copy this. But again, I have to. Um, uh, I can't use my second hand. And. There we go. Unfortunately, it seems like I got a bit of pork on the counter, so I'm gonna have to clean that up. But this doesn't look like a lot. But um, uh, yeah, this is like I'm telling you right now, it's no good when you actually want to eat your food. So it's good we took that off right now. And all we're gonna do now is cut this in half, because you know a long a long piece of meat like this isn't gonna fit onto my uh, cooking sheet here. So we're gonna cut this in half, just in the middle. Just like that, just like that. And ribs, you know, it's not something. Hmm? I think there's a bone. Yeah, it seems like there's a bone. Where's the bone here? It's hard to see. It's hard, it's, look, it's. Is rice ball having tr trouble cutting a piece of rib? Yeah, you could say so, but it's also the fact that I'm not using a cutting board. I'm trying to. Here we go, okay. So, we got the two pieces of rib. And I'm just going to heavily season this with salt and pepper, some nice S&P. And this is probably not even going to need sauce, you know, because the last time I made these, I just used salt and pepper, and the salt really added a nice flavor to this meat. And we'll just load this up with pepper also while we're at it. We got the big value pack. God knows how long I've had this for in the pantry. But, and I don't know if it's really possible to over pepper your ribs. Like, how many times in your life have you heard, like, wow, this tastes too peppery. You know, too salty we hear about. But, um, uh, too peppery, I never have. So let's, let's put this to the max. Let's put this to the max today, folks. Max the meat guy. And, um, uh, yeah, so... That's the situation, and get this on the cooking sheet, the cooking tray, whatever you want to call it, and it's going to season the meat by reverse osmosis, ooh, science, but um, uh, yeah, that's the situation, so, I think, um, what's your favorite dish to make, my favorite dish to make, hmm, I don't have a favorite, <laughs> okonomiyaki, okonomiyaki, safe, safe answer, okonomiyaki. We made it on last stream, and you know, on the last stream, I wasn't really able to talk because my mom was sleeping upstairs. I was filming at 12, 12, not as in noon, but 12 as in at midnight, you know, so. Uh, yeah, that was a bit tricky, but we're back. We got the ribs ready to go. And as you can see right there, the ribs, easy peasy. 
Let's get these into the oven. We're heated at 250 degrees right now. And um, uh, we're going to move on to the chicken. We're going to move. Woo, YouTube angle. We're going to move on to the chicken after that. Just, oh no. Have to get it back all on, okay. So we got the ribs right here. Right here we got the ribs. And I'm just going to be careful to not burn myself on this oven door. There's no going back now and you're in. The ribs are done. But you know, ribs are always going to be the easiest thing in this because now we're going, to, we're going to use the chicken. We're going to try to make something happen with this chicken. So I'm going to just quickly rinse my fingers. Yeah, rinse, rinse your dirty little paws, right? Well, it's probably what you're thinking, but yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to wash my hands real quick. Nothing, 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 nothing out of the ordinary. Just going to wash my hands. And then, um, uh... And then we'll see where we're at. And when you're like one, okay, this is barely a cooking show or anything, but when you're a one-man show, you know it's very difficult having to deal with the lighting, having to deal with the hand washing, having to deal with the camera angle. And I think it's um just like, just people spamming stuff, or not spamming, but you know, like leaving comments in chat. And I can't even see that because like how the tripod is, it's holding my, um, hiding the whole chat situation. So I'm hoping everyone is leaving nice and positive comments. But, um, uh, or chat messages, but if you're not, it's okay, you know, I'm used to the hate, and, um, it is what it is, you know, can't, can't do anything about that. But, that being said, we're going to move our way to the chicken now. And the chicken, you know, it's chicken breast, we don't want to cook it for too long, I guess, it's going to become all stringy, it's going to become all dry. So I think what we're going to do is cut them uh, rather small. We'll cut the chicken rather small and then we'll have to um, try try to put compensate with the breading maybe. We'll see. Um, uh, again, it would be easy if I used a cutting board, but that's too much. That's too much cleanup that I don't want to deal with after, you know, so. Even this knife, I didn't really properly wash, not going to lie. NGL, like the cool kids say. Generation Alpha, Generation Z, I don't even know anymore. And, um, uh, here we go. $9.70 of chicken for not that much, honestly. So, oh, so only 300 grams of chicken. I don't know how the bodybuilders do it on their whole bodybuilder diets, you know? Because chicken ain't cheap. Chicken ain't cheap. So, let's just cut this open to reveal this beautiful chicken, quote unquote. Beautiful chicken, and I was just, I, I want to avoid a whole um, situation where the chicken, or the batter isn't going to stick to the chicken. Batter is in just cornstarch, so we're just going to pat this down to the best of our abilities, like this, and dry it as much as we can, and I hope, I hope the cornstarch sticks to it, but uh, I'm not really... Ah, oh, this is sad, guys. This is sad. There's like no chicken in this. What? What's 300 grams? This is like two dollars worth of chicken in Japan. Not even gonna lie. Why is food so expensive now? Is it inflation? Is it the government? This isn't a political channel, by the way. I don't even know anymore. But it doesn't change. Okay, so this chicken seems to be pretty dry already. We're gonna just pat it down a bit more. Hey, Yuki, sir, everyone. How's it going? How's it going? We're just preparing meats for the week. I can't wait to see the finished product. Oh, don't, don't hold your breath, you know, because um, uh, I don't think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be turn out that good. Because I have a hard time to imagine. Last time I did something with cornstarch, it didn't really stick. Not going to lie. So we're going to have to see this time also what happens. And again, I might cut my finger live on stream right now because um, I'm not using a cutting board. And that's nothing more than my own laziness on not wanting to have to wash after. 
which is wild if you think about it. So, here we go. We have little pieces of chicken we're cutting. Again, don't copy me. Don't do this at home, folks. You're just going to probably hurt yourself. And if you do, I can't be held responsible. So, we're just cutting the chicken in the... On top of each other first. And I don't know how I'm going to cut the chicken once I get down here now. A problem has arose. But, yeah, we're just going to do small pieces of chicken and... This is probably going to give me to yield, I, I want to sound more official, this is going to yield me two meals probably. But um, uh, yeah, so, here we go. We have the little chicken tenderloin in here. This I'll make an effort to pull out because I don't want to bite into this after. Just like that. Is it going to come out? Just like that. Oh, I'm not. Even, it's not even in frame. Uh, just, okay. I guess it doesn't want to cooperate. But yeah, just this. Just want to pull out so it doesn't end up in the food after, you know? And here. Hey, this might work out. I might not have to wash the cutting board. And, bonus, I might not cut my end up cutting my fingers. Which is always nice, you know? Because when I, when I cut myself in the kitchen using these knives, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good with the knife, you know? But um, sometimes I do cut myself also. And why does that happen? It's because I'm taking shortcuts in 99% or no, 100% of the time it's because I don't want to use a cutting board. And whose fault is that? Who, who do we blame this time, Rice Bowl? Blame, you have to blame yourself, you know? So, this worked out well. We're not going to have a bunch of dishes after. We're, not gonna, we're just going to have one bowl of sal a salmonella bowl and a, sal a salmonella knife, which is great. Not too much washing after. And we're going to... Yeah, so we got the chicken right here, and people are probably going to overreact like, what? Is he not seasoning his chicken? Is he not seasoning the chicken? And um, we could put a bit of salt, I guess, but I want this to, I just want to, I just want to see if this crisps up basically, you know? I'm not really in this to to have a mind blowing experience. This is like a nine dollar and seventy seven cent experiment, you know. And if this does crisp up indeed, like I'm hoping it does, we're golden, you know. But uh, I'll be surprised. We got the cornstarch here. Is it already open? No, it's closed. It's a new box. Bruh. But um, okay, here we go. Take two. Take two. We got the cornstarch. We have a second thing of cornstarch here. And what we're going to do is just pour some in. Pour some in the um, uh, the chicken, and let's hope let's hope we could get a bit to stick on. And if it doesn't, uh, I'm gonna have to check the comments to see if any of you have um, uh, solutions and remedies. So, seems to be sticking, which is surprising. Yeah. Okay, it's just like a Christmas miracle in a Christmas miracle in what are we in? We're, we're still in April, right? A Christmas miracle in April. Okay, so it seems to have worked. Yes, miracle miracles do happen. But um, uh, all right. So now that we we've established that this works, we're just going to make sure all the nooks and crannies are drenched. And hopefully we get um uh, nice. Want to just shake the excess flour off? Hopefully we get some nice and crispy bird, but um, we'll see. You know, we'll see. This experiment isn't done yet, and if this is good, you know, I'll start seasoning the chicken up next time. Make it for my brother. Hopefully he'll like it. Can't guarantee again. There's no guarantees in this world. And also um, like I said, you know. The oil we're using is no, it's no fresh oil. This is radioactive, basically radioactive. Who knows how old this is, you know? Seriously, I'm not even joking. So, we got the oil starting to heat up. I'm going to give a quick wash to my fingers. Quick wash to the hands. And we'll use soap here. I'll get the camera in for the hand washing. Because this is important. This is important when you cook. 
people freak out on uh, in restaurant kitchens like, whoa, he's not using gloves. And I'll tell you, like a lot of restaurants I worked at, I never saw people really wear gloves. And even less, people didn't really wash their hands, which really spooked me. So that's why I don't really eat solids or anything like that at restaurants, because you never know who's really preparing the food. I try to have something that's like deep fried or something like that. At least in Canada, in Japan, I don't know, it's, it looks like uh, most of the places I worked at, we either wore gloves or like people are washing their hands a lot. But yeah, man, over here, you know, people, people didn't care, you know. But lucky we didn't get anyone sick. But, you know, me on the other hand, I wash my hands a lot, like 50, 60, 70 times a day, no exaggeration. So I started developing like skin problems. All the natural oils in my skin started disappearing and I started getting dry skin. And can't do much about that, you know. Found a good cream that works for me, Working Hands by O'Keefe. And yeah, that's about it, you know, that's about it. So, is there really 26 people in the live stream right now? Hey, that's wild. Hey, good afternoon, JC. Good afternoon, um, uh, Hazman Muswa. That's too many times. Well, yo, that's the thing, eh? I wash my hands a lot, even at the workplace. Like, leave a comment down below for how many times you wash your hands. But, um, I probably wash my hands, no joke. Even now, 30 times a day. And you could see, I just wash them to be fair, but my hands aren't really that dry, right? And that's because I think my, my hands, my fingers developed a natural natural layer of protection, something like that. Don't want don't to wanna get into too much pseudoscience stuff right now though. Might, it might just not be a natural layer of protection, but we're gonna have a glass of water to hydrate the inside. And yeah, easy money. One sec. See, this is the problem. I don't get how YouTubers, um, uh, I don't get how YouTubers, you know, get perfect lighting everywhere they go. I'm struggling. Like, I buy all these lights, this and that, and I struggle to even have 1% of what some of these two subscription channels have. You know, I'm hustling out here to try to get that good lighting so I don't look, a, look like a blueberry on camera. But that being said, Akamang, damn, bro, you disappeared from my shorts feed for two years. Yo, I think that's what happened, you know, when, after I... After I left Japan, you know, YouTube started YouTube started to promote the videos a bit less and can't blame them, you know, like what's going on now in life? Not much. But that being said, I think the oil is starting to heat up. Yeah, so the oil is starting to heat up and as you could see, you know, not, as you could see, not much because of the lighting, but maybe if I, see the last thing I want to do is, oh no, I can't put this here. Hmm. 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 This this presents itself as a challenge, and let's see if I'm able to let's see if I'm able to solve this challenge because you know we're missing anywhere to put the lights. I'm trying to see right now. You know, life is all about. See, this is the angle I want because it's like nice and bright. We see my hands. Oh, did my did my phone just really um? Focus into my hand like that? Am I using like, oh, because it's the back camera? Wow, that's... Hey, help me, my own heart is eating my mind. What's up? How's it going? Hey, man, before eating, before after preparing food, after using the toilet, after cleaning, having... I wash about 17. Yeah, that's the thing. In me, each time I go into the food factory, you know, and you could you can imagine how many times that is. So it seems like uh, the oil is heating up now. And what we'll do is... Okay, I think this is this, this is the best I can do. But uh, what we'll do is we're going to just get a plate. Plate and cooking, cooking, whatever, whatever you want to call it. The thing ready just to catch our meats after. And we're going to fry all of this up now. Again, like I said, we're trying a new recipe. Or you could barely call it a recipe, but it's just salt and chicken and cornstarch. So let's see if this actually crisps up like the YouTubers say. The oil seems to still be a bit cold. So we'll wait a bit and um, uh, in the meantime...
G4S9X dismantled me fentanyl. Yo, what are you talking about? Dismantled me fentanyl. I've never trust. I never touched the D word in my whole life. Uh, Danny Kilgore. Here, hello, Rice Ball. When was the last time you you got a GF? Pretty recently. Pretty recently. But yeah, that being said, I think I missed a bunch of comments up here. Yeah, basically since the the stream started, you know, because I have this phone in um a roll of gorilla tape. Oh, looks like, um, can you speak Japanese by Robin? Uh, shabadamas. PSXD. Hi, bro. Love you from India. Watching you seeing five, since 5k subs. Hey, thanks so much. You know, it's nice to see, it's nice to see, um, long-time viewers still watching. People come and go, you know, that's just part of luck. But, you know, it's always nice to, it's always nice to have people come back. Makes me feel like, well, yeah, I'm actually doing something in this world. <laughs> but, um, not really. I'm just making little YouTube shorts. Okay, but that being said, it looks like our oil is heating up now. And we're just gonna start piling in the chicken here. All I could say is, hopefully this turns out. If it doesn't, uh, good learning experience, you know. And, as I said, this oil... You know, we're not going to be able to use anymore because most people are like, after you use three times, after you use, what's the, what's the dish we're making fried chicken using cornstarch today? I decided to forego, not use, um, wait, we, we can, let's give this a quick peek. Oh, wow. Yo. Yo. Not going to lie, that looks pretty good. So, we're just going to continue frying this up. And we also got some pork ribs in the oven, so where am I, what am I going to have for dinner? So many options. It's a good problem to have. Uh, that being said, we're just going to fry this up. And I guess I have to speak a bit loud so my voice comes into the camera. And this is more of a meal prep situation. We're going to have leftovers this week, probably. I just want to be able to film film shorts, or short, not shorts, live as soon as I get home. And then have enough time to exercise after. But... The oil is pretty dirty, so I don't think we're going to get a nice color on this. It's going to be... And the oil's spinning back also, so this is a health hazard. Yeah, Hazeman, because of the discolored oil, it may look cooked, so be careful. Facts. So I'm going to lower the... Oh, yo, the oil's spinning here more. I'm going to get my shirt off stained. Usually in a situation like this, I would just take my shirt off and have... To not get an oil stain on my shirt and, you know... Deal with the oil burn droplets after, but this is a live stream, and I think that that's against YouTube's terms and services. So we're just going to keep this black shirt on, and if it gets an oil stain, so be it. We'll try to remove it after the stain removal. Okay, looks like. Hey, Lorena, what's up? What's up? Welcome to the stream, Chef Beans. What's up? How's it going? Denny Dreams, Hider, how's it going? Uh, glad you want us. How's it going? Now I want to eat fried chicken. <laughs> hey, let's let's see. Here we have a we have a crisp. Oh, now the oil starting to smoke also. But that being said, this is not seasoned, right? This chicken It's just seasoned with salt. So basically, no seasoning according to some people. But this is just to see if the cornstarch cooking method is actually going to work. We got a crispy bit right here. Is it going to focus? A crispy bit right here. Hmm, that's pretty good. But yeah, this seems to have worked. But again, the oil is discolored. Like I've said time and time again. We got the chicken starting to, to pull up to the top, as you can see. So I think it's almost time to pull these out. I'll just lower the heat a tinsy wincy bit. So the heat the oil doesn't heat up too much as I'm pulling this chicken out. And we'll get the second batch going in the third batch and yeah, that's probably going to be the stream guys. But as you could see. We got the little pieces of chicken, it's almost like popcorn chicken, you know. It is what it is though. If it doesn't turn out, it doesn't turn out. But okay, this seems this seems to be ready. We don't want to burn the chicken either. If we still see that it's a bit raw after, we'll just re-deep fry it. 
But um, we're just going to put it on this cooking net. And this is one thing I started to do while cooking. And at first I was kind of like, bro, moment. It, just, just, I don't know if I'm in frame. No, it's not in frame. Just putting the chicken on a net like this to let the food drain. So it doesn't pull up on a paper towel, the oil. This is one thing. This this one's a bit big. We'll wait. But um, that, this is one thing I started to do. A couple of years back and it makes it makes a significant difference because the burning doesn't reabsorb all that moisture it doesn't remove uh reabsorb all that humidity that kind of thing uh but that being said you know we got the chicken here and it's i don't know how this is going to turn out my expectations aren't aren't high and you know i don't want to start going all mr rogers on the chat but it's good in life to not really have much expectations you're just going to be let down most of the time, so recently my expectations are to the ground, you know. I don't expect anything from anybody, I don't, uh, from my job, from the people I work with, friends and family, you know, just, just chilling, living life, and, you know, if in the end it works out, good, and if it doesn't, you know, another day, another dollar, one day at a time. But we could start he heating the oil a bit back up. This piece, I don't know if it's cooked. We're going to explore after. But that being said, let's get in more some more chick in to this oil. Yeah, so now the oil's a bit cold, so we're gonna have to see oil temperature management is not something that's like easy per se. The oil gets warm, the oil gets hot. Yeah, now it seems to be like at a pretty good temperature. So we'll start um uh, putting in our chicken again, our second batch. Just wanted to avoid overcrowding the pan, overcrowding the pot. And we're going to have to probably do one final batch at the end here, which is okay, you know, we have all the time in the day, it's still a Saturday afternoon. I woke up at 2.30, folks, and it's 3.18 right now, so as soon as I woke up, basically, just just washed my face. Uh, who am I kidding? I don't wash my face. I just took, like, a bit of the crust out of my eyes, and then uh, I called my mom to see if she was around. She said she was leaving soon, I was like, yes, I could live stream then, because I'm not able to live stream in front of my parents. Do you have tongs? Uh, yeah, I do, but, uh, I don't think I'm going to look for them now. But that being said, that being said, we can, we can try the chicken right now. Mmm. Yo. That's surprisingly tasty. Hey, thanks, dinner. Roblox fun time, what's up? Ambush, how you doing? Not bad. Wow. That's exactly what I'm making, chicken. And I cut the pieces rather small. See, now that the oil's hitting back up, so we're going to drop it back to medium. But I cut the pieces rather small, so when I reheat them in the air fryer, they crisp up and get warm quick, you know, so... That's the plan. I'm going to have to think of some kind of sauce I'm going to use, though. Because, as I said, I only season these with salt. So, basically, not much seasoning. I'm just eating all of these. It's so good. Yeah, fried chicken is easier the more you do it, small pieces, less time, that's right. Is that chicken? Yep. Yeah. And delicious one is that. And I think look at chicken in this pot. It 
it's starting to come together now. And this oil didn't give me too much trouble, so I feel like I could use it one more time. Uh, we'll see once it cools down. Probably not. Should probably just dispose of this oil. But it feels wasteful, you know. That's why I keep using and using, and I don't eat fried foods all that often. But that's why I don't really want to throw it out. But I'm going to have to limit myself. Eat another granola bar or something, because this is... I'm making all of this now, so I don't have to deal with cooking food during the week. Hashtag relatable. But yeah, I'm, I'm making all of this now, so I don't have to... I don't have to break my back during the week after work, you know? And, you know, when I started doing... When I cook after work, sometimes I'm like, yo, it's a drive, this and that, I have to be quiet, I don't feel like doing dishes. But it's good I'm getting it all out of the way now, because... Now I'm going to have dinners for the next two or three days. And I'm live streaming this at the same time. No one's in the house right now, and that's why. Okay, so the chickens are still a bit heavy, so it needs just water. But there's no one at home right now, so that's why I'm able to like freely talk like this. My parents tell me all the time, like, "Oh, you could live stream this is in the house." But you know, I'm just scared that one day you're gonna get a phone call or something, and their friends are gonna hear me talking to myself. No, that's not true. It's more um, just a respect thing, you know. You have all these obnoxious YouTubers, even outside, screaming at the top of their lungs, but even even with my parents, you know, I try to hold back a bit, because th this would get old quick, you know, old quick, me talking loud like this to myself. So here we, here we go, the chicken. And we're just going to cool these down. I hope it's cooked. I hope it's cooked. Survivor Cook Island. I hope it's cooked. But um We're just gonna we're just gonna do our last batch right now and after that dinners we're gonna have around four meals ready. Cut out ready for us. Which is a blessed situation. And the last batch of chicken. Just get all those crumbs in there, I guess. Might as well for throwing out the oil. And I'm going to eat here. I'm just washing my hands. I was touching a lot of raw chicken stuff. And I'm recently just recovering from a whole food poisoning situation. I talked about this story every day I've been live streaming since I've been back, but if you want to hear it again, I think I ate some kind of unwashed vegetable or something like that. Who knows, I might I might have had E. coli or something like that. I guess we'll never really know what I had. I never got tested, I never got a microbial gut test or something like that, but a microbial flora. But I wasn't expecting to get all this cooking done so fast, because we've only been streaming for 38 minutes. Yeah, food poisoning, that's what happened. Throw me a rice bowl. Oh, I should, okay, we could do that after. I'm going to wash these dishes after, on stream, quote-unquote on stream, and then... Yeah, we have, we have the empty rice cooker, so we could be doing that actually. Yeah, we'll wash the rice after, I think. Just all, let's just soak a bit. Get all that rice out. And in the meantime, you know. Okay, so I don't want to burn this chicken before I put away these dishes. Before I put away these dishes. I'll just deal with the chicken. It would have been nice to have a bit more breading on this actually because I'm probably going to use these for rice bowls and I don't want to I don't want to have to use up too many chicken per meal and the breading you know fills you up a bit. 
So that's that's something to think about. We could do a I don't know like a egg dredge, egg dredge cornstarch, egg dredge cornstarch type of situation. But then I don't know if the cornstarch would actually stick. Anyways, lots to think about. And you could see if the first pieces. You can see the first pieces we cooked earlier. I don't know, I cut them small, but... E. coli, I'm pretty sure you would have been in the hospital if it was E. coli. Yo, I'm lucky I wasn't in the hospital, not gonna lie, you know. Probably the worst... Five days in recent memory. I can't get over how good this is, though. But, all things come to an end, we're at our second batch now. Just quickly take all of this out of the oil. good to have more chicken for the week you know this is probably going to be two meals like I said and if I have the oil out all of that getting the oil dirty getting my hands dirty this and that it would have been better to just have more chicken to not have to deal with this later on in the week again but that being said everything is cooked and we're going to strain this oil later on when we clean it up I guess so we have ribs in the oven, the fried chicken is done. Can't complain, this is a good day. We'll just clean up the chicken now. Here's the final product. It looks like popcorn chicken. And I'm not filming any other YouTube videos today, unfortunately. But um, here we go, we could put a bit of pepper on a piece, I guess. Here, this is a nice piece. My bad. My bad for the camera angle. I thought it turned. But this is a nice piece. Mmm. Okay, yeah. One second. But yeah, that's, that's the situation. We have all the food ready now. I'll wash the um, rice for dinner. Clean up the dishes a bit. And I think we'll call it a stream. I still want to exercise. I have to do my taxes today. Ooh, exciting stuff. And what else do I need to do? I have to do my taxes. still have to edit videos, film voiceovers. And YouTube shorts are acting a bit strange recently, you know. When I, back two years ago when I upload them, they just take off and then, you know, just plateau. But recently, they don't get views and then they take off. So I think you're doing some kind of algorithm, algorithmical changes, something like that. But how much money do I need to send for you to get to Jack in the Box and fight employees in honor for the chicken tater melt? Uh, a lot of money, I think, because I think that's a federal crime and... There's no jack in the box nearby. Bro has more eyelashes than me. So sad. <laughs> Did anyone see that like thumbnail uh, speed run to go blind and it's a kid putting a flashlight in his face like that? Uh, I think I got permanent eye damage from that. But yeah, my eyelashes, ever since I was young, you know, all the girls in class would be like, yo, why is it, why is it, is, does he wear mascara? So I'd have to take tissue and wipe my eyes in now this is by default you know it's all natural youtube is weird it's a weird place but um that being said we'll just clean up the dishes wash up our hands wash up the rice and the oil's still going to be too hard to hot to strain so i'll probably do that off camera off stream i don't know we got the ribs in the oven now for almost half an hour 
I used to cover the ribs and I, I want to get used to speaking to the lens of the camera. I'm always looking at it all over the place. It makes me feel insecure or something like that. But here, get the light. Yeah, this is why I don't do it because the light just goes into my retinas and feels like I'm getting eye damage. But um, that being said, I used to cover up my ribs as foil each time I cooked them and it felt like I was steaming them almost. And they'd be a fall off the bone, but too soft, you know. And ever since I've been cooking them low and slow, not low and slow, just low, not slow, low, uncovered in the oven. They've been turning out a bit better, you know. I used to cook ribs for my granddad before he passed, and he didn't really have keys, so fall off the bone, you know. They were almost braised, and it was good, but I still have functioning keys, so we're not going to have to. We're not going to have to go into very soft territories, and we could take a quick look on how the ribs are going. Ribbies. Do you use the oil solidifying powder? Nah, that's all. That's all expensive, you know. Usually, what I do is we're going to use like bits and bits and pieces of this oil for stir frying. Uh, not really, not really a good idea, but it's okay. I'll unsubscribe if you don't mail me your eyelashes to me. Your lavish should only be appreciated. <laughs> that's kind. Of, that's kind of weird. But um, uh, yeah. That being said, we can quickly, I guess. Put everything away, clean as we cook. Clean as we cook, live as we learn. I'm gonna just put away these cups real quick. So we don't have a whole, oh wait, well, this is not a good idea to have to, to have to put away these wet cups when there's hot oil involved. I can feel some, like my, my, my pants are sliding down. Okay, one sec, one sec, let me just, let me just try to figure this out, and we'll be back to some regular. Okay, here. I don't know why I was opening there. This is where this cup goes. Does rice bowl not put away cutlery usually? I try my best. Okay, I try my best. But yeah, I'm just gonna go to the other room and put this away, and we'll be right back after the intermission. I know live streaming is something that's on. I'm gonna shut off my lighter soon because it's a bit wasteful. But live stream is a bit interesting. It's a bit interesting because I'm just talking to myself in a room and I always feel like I, I, I didn't grow up watching live streaming, I didn't grow up making live streams. I'm more of a YouTube type of guy. So for me, this is all very foreign, all very bizarre, you could say. And I'm surprised people watch these live streams, you know. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but. Nonetheless, I'm surprised. But the fried chicken seems to be coming along just fine. It seems to be cooling down, so we're going to get ready to put all of that in the fridge, and then we'll reheat them up for some beautiful dinners. I'll just I'll just steal one more, but I just have to keep in mind every time I take a take a piece of chicken from here, it's one less piece of chicken for dinner. But we got a crispy piece right here. Tasty. I'll put the chicken in this bowl right now. I'll put the chicken in the bowl right now so I could put it in the fridge after and we're going to wash all of this. Can you send me fingernails in the middle? Yo, that's weird also. Super tasty Esther situation. With that being said, I'm cleaning as I go right now not have a huge cleanup situation and you know now my my goal my goal right now in life is to make as many shorts live streams as possible get the channel monetized 
make long videos after that that actually cost money to make, recoup my losses. So that's why uh, we're going to start going ham very hard on the live streams. I'm going to readjust my lights just. And in order to do that, I work, I work two to ten, two to eleven. Have to leave a bit early. It's like a one to eleven if you start factoring the commute and all that. So when I get home, I don't, I really don't want to be spending two hours in the kitchen. So I'm going to be meal prepping a bit during the during the weekends, and hopefully, just hopefully, it all turns out for the better. I'm gonna get a lot of streams. Oh, did you? That was quick. Okay. That's the chicken. Kind of want to have one more piece, but uh, I'm gonna control myself because you guys are watching. I'm gonna turn on the hot water now. We have a we have a deep where We have to turn on the hot water from the bottom. It's part of life, you know. It's part of life. And one sec. We'll wash the dishes. Maybe he does drag. No, I don't I don't do drag. I just have long eyelashes naturally. And I can't do anything about that, you know. He lives with his parents, that's usually his intro. Yo, this is the reason I eat in a day, living with my parents. You already know. And right now, I wish I had a big screen in front of me so I could read the chat at the same time. I hope the water's not too loud. I'll, I'll decrease the power. But, um... I, I wish I had a big screen in front of me. I see some YouTube people do that on their live streams, having a big screen. But we don't have the funds for that. <laughs> this is the Rice Bowl channel, if you want. And we don't even have a sponge, so I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to wash these, like, really by hand, by hand, you know? Because unfortunately, uh, I don't know why, I have to buy a sponge. I'm going to order a sponge off of Amazon or something like that, I think. Because I don't have the time to go to the store the store, to just go buy a sponge, unfortunately. But we're just going to wash the utensils with soap, get all that salmonella off. Who knows, not all chicken necessarily has salmonella from what I understand. But um, not all doesn't mean none, so we're going to have to get as much off as possible. And once we're done this... This, as in the washing, we're going to start washing the rice. Wow, so exciting. Rice bowl. When you tune into a rice bowl scene, you know you're going to be entertained with all this washing. But, uh, can't control it, you know. These are the steps in life. If you cut, if you cut meat, here, let's, I need to, I need to get a, I need to get a, a, a sponge or something, because this is not safe. I'm going to cut my fingers again. Washing these knives is the tip of my fingers. Don't copy it as a tone, very dangerous. And I really don't recommend this from a, even a food safety perspective because I don't really know how much of the bacteria is coming off. Hopefully enough though, get some bubbles on. To really, to really, Wash everything up, and then yeah, we're just gonna rinse this knife off. Like I said, I went through that whole food, food poisoning episode recently, so I haven't really worked out for over a week now. I haven't, I haven't really done much physical physical activity except at work where I walk. I'd say seven thousand to ten, seven thousand five hundred to ten thousand steps, you know, on average, something like that. And. That's why just moving around a little bit, it makes me a bit tired, not gonna lie. But we have to get back into it, you know, get back in the, to the exercise. I don't want food poisoning for the, the reason to be, I become unfit, if you know what I mean. So, I'm just gonna quickly wash all of this up, get do what I need to do for the day, and hopefully, you know, spend a nice evening with my mom. I, haven't, I don't see her much because of my work schedule and her work schedule. She works in the morning, and then I work in the evenings and nights, so... My dad's in Japan right now, seeing some family, so we don't really, we don't really see each other much. And hopefully tonight, you know, we can have a, a small party night, you know. I'll eat some ribs and some. I guess I should, yeah. I'll wash a bit of rice that she could use. I have to eat some bread I have in the fridge that's getting fiddled. 
maybe I could find a nice vegetable to pair that with. And yeah, that's the situation. I'm just um uh, giving extra care to this knife right now for the washing. Cause I don't wanna I don't wanna get food poisoning again if you know what I mean. Here we go, I think this is enough. Even the chopsticks, you know? Bro, will you go inside right now to teach him how to conserve water? Yo, I don't know, like, I'm not using... I'm not... I don't know. The water, like... It's all a cycle, right? It evaporates and it comes back. And there's stuff in here also that I want to have continuously soaked. And water isn't that expensive here, thankfully, so... Anyways, just going to quickly rinse all of that. I wish we had a dishwasher or something like that, but unfortunately, none of that here. Bro, it's washing the sins off that knife. Yo, we cut pork, we cut chicken. We cut so much off of that knife, and yeah, I'm going to use a bit more time to carefully wash it, you know, so I don't catch something. Okay, now it's just smooth sailing from here. Let's go. Everything else is pretty, pretty self, self-explanatory. Just rinse everything down. And we're going to be ready to go, hopefully, after that. I'll show you something interesting. I don't know if most houses have this. It was interesting to me when we first moved here. A water gun. Just get as much of that grease off as the hot water, you know? And I know a thing or two, I used to be a professional dishwasher. Just for two weeks, you know? Just for two weeks. But uh, that was a good time in my life, that was a fun time. Unfortunately, um, uh, it's not a very lucrative job. And career rise to career prospects aren't that great for being a professional dishwasher. But I really enjoyed that job, and if it paid like more, let's say, let's say I would get paid to wash dishes for thirty dollars an hour, livable wage, I would consider going back to it. Cause I had so much fun at these dishwashing jobs. Not so stressful. You're in your zone. We never got to listen to music or podcast, but if I could find a place that lets me listen to an audio book or something, hey, I'd be, I'd be golden. But that being said. We're coming to the end of this washing now. And it's miraculous that uh, people are still around watching this. I really don't understand this YouTube shorts method all that well. I see the slot machine shorts doing well. I see the Roblox gift card scam shorts doing well. I see the Fortnite skin YouTube short live streams going well. And uh, I don't really see people talk to a camera. I don't really see people... Yeah, I don't really see people talk to cameras, I don't really see people cook, I don't really see people do anything but borderline camps. So I'm, I'm still trying to learn, I'm still trying to learn this whole YouTube shorts, vertical live stream situation, but it's an uphill battle for me, guys, because I can't see, you know, you know, I'm not, I'm not 12 anymore, I can't sit down and watch a Roblox, a Roblox gift card live stream and try to overanalyze on why this has 800 viewers, you know. But the last thing I'm going to wash is going to be the countertop. And you might be thinking I'm exaggerating a bit, but... I think I missed a few a few words in chat. But, um, uh, just let me... See. <laughs> I send you Roblox, give me your eyebrows. Um... People's Alzheimer's think their family doesn't exist, but it's still a loss. You know, um, 
Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's. I've had, I've had close ones die from Alzheimer's, you know, it's a brutal disease. But, that being said, I'm just going to clean this area because we got pork and chicken, raw pork and chicken. So, I'll just put a bit of soap here. We don't have any uh, cleaning products, unfortunately, made for this right now in the household, so I'll do what I can. And I'm going to have to get alcohol wipes or something like that at some point. But here we go, we're just going to clean this one area and then rinse it down, hopefully, that, so it's very clean after. I don't think I'm going to be able to sanitize it, it's not going to be an aseptic situation, it's not going to be a type of situation where you make medicine or something like that is one corner of the table. If for our general purposes, I think it's going to be alright. And then after that, all we have left to do is wash the rice and probably going to, I don't know how much battery I have left actually. We're one hour into it. I still have 59%, but it's almost 4 p.m. So my mom is probably going to come home in half an hour, I think. Something like that. And it would be awkward if she walked in, walked into her son live streaming like this, I guess. So I think I'm going to exercise or something like that. Do something, do something for my health after this. But at least I want to get the rice going, you know. So if my mom chooses to eat rice tonight for dinner, she has the option to. But, okay, this one corner, I think it's pretty clean right now. We'll just do one more rinse. And, uh, yeah, that's good, I guess, because in one hour, we were able to knock out potentially four meals for the week, the next four dinners, two servings of ribs, two servings of chicken. We cleaned everything up, and we just have to wash the rice now. I might do the laundry. I could do the laundry on stream, I guess. And then, uh... And then, yeah, I think we'll call it a day, I think. So. Hey, Stefan, how's it going? You skibbity, you so fandom tax. Anyways, okay, I don't know. I think this is this is starting to become uh, too too much generation alpha alpha speak, and I'm not familiar with that all. Unfortunately, if I was more in terms of the lingo like gas, ligma, uh, I don't know what the, what the other words everyone else uses, but I, I'm more of an esther situ esther esther situation type of guy, you know. Like I always say, low tech guy in a high tech world. You know, you just see, you just see. You just see the world changing in front of your eyes. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but the first time I realized, the first time I realized I wasn't very receptive to change, is when they real when they released Pokemon Sword and Shield. I was like, yo, this isn't Pokemon, you know. And I guess every generation has that. They, if if you grew up with Gen One and Two, you grew, when Pokemon Sapphire and Ruby came out, you might have been like, wow, this isn't Pokemon, and you became a hater. And you know, when Pokemon Sword and Shield came out, I was like, yo, what is this? And it's grown on to me a bit. I never played the game, so you know, on Pokemon Showdown, I see them once. And it's grown on to me a bit, but by the way, this isn't my coffee. I'm washing this for my mom. I don't drink coffee. But yeah, it's grown on to me a bit. And over it, but it just scared me. It spooked me in a bit because I'm like, wow, I guess this is how, while well, you age, you become less and less receptive to change. So, that was a wake up call. And I'm just trying to be more conscious about being receptive to change, if you know what I mean. Bro, is it Pokemon? I understand Pokemon is getting crazy. Yo, for real, like... The, the new Pokemon, I don't know, I've never played uh, on console, but just in Pokemon Showdown, the gimmick, I guess, is pretty fun, terrestrialization. I went on a good run last night before going to bed. I won six random battles in a row. Uh, felt good about myself, but you know, random battles, it's very easy to lose six in the row also. How, like, I, I'd say like 15%, there's like a lot of luck involved. 15% is not insignificant. In terms of luck. But, that being said, we won't talk about Pokemon too much. Because if you, if you, if you get me started on Pokemon random battles for Pokemon Showdown, you won't hear the end of it. And... I guarantee 90% of the people don't tune into the Rice Bowl channel to hear about Pokemon Showdown and all of that. So, 
We'll just get the rice ready. We'll wash three cups of rice today and just take away down here. Just so I don't lose count, we'll, we'll count up log one. Two. Three cups of rice, hopefully this lasts us two days also. And yeah, when it comes to washing rice, cold water is the way to go. Ice cold. I don't know if, I don't know how much you're able to see in here. And then we do a, a cursory, a few cursory drains. It tastes better like this apparently. This is the only way I know how to make rice and it tastes good every time. But yeah, we're not really moving the rice around too much. We're just, I think we're getting off the surface dirt or something like that. And not even the dirt, but maybe the surface starches. I don't even know to be honest. And yeah, we can start mixing them. I like to do like 30 seconds uh, drain and repeat for each cup of rice I have. So we'll just do um, uh, three sets. It's like a workout almost. We'll just do three sets of that. And then probably call it a day, I think. Here we go. So that's one set of washing and draining. And we'll do two more sets. Then we'll do a huge a huge drain without uh, actually washing the rice to have clear water and then we'll cook it all up and it will be that what color is your bubbles or green but yeah just washing like this and unfortunately you know you might be concerned about this water here that's dangling down and not much I could do with a leaky faucet we have to we have to repair this but I think my parents want to redo the whole kitchen and I just don't have time. My dad doesn't have time right now for all of that. So we're waiting, but at one point we're going to have to replace all the pipes. Something like that. Like I said, we have to turn on the hot water from the bottom. So that's why even if you shut the, the sink off up here, if you don't shut the hot water on the bottom, it doesn't... It doesn't come to a complete stop. So I don't know, living in this house sometimes is a headache. But you get used to it. Just gonna continuously wash here. Maybe 10 more seconds. And we're going to be good, we're just going to drain off all the remaining starch, the excess starch. And we'll be ready to go. So. Just like this. And then our rice is going to be all washed up. We're going to have rice for the next four meals. and chicken for the next two meals and ribs for the next two meals and we're going to be good to go I think it's good we got all of this out of the way, done out of the way you know and I think we're, we're done draining the rice here so we're just gonna fill it up to the line now And filling it up to the line every single time, you know. This is this is an adventure on its own. You have to make sure that it's not too overfilled, too underfilled. Rice is finicky, you know. Then we have to kind of look like there's still too much water. And I smell the, the nice aroma of fried chicken right beside me. 
Okay, so this is good. We got the rice filled up to the line. And the house is not straight, but you could see here that the the water ends at the lower the lower bar here. And it goes to the middle bar here. So if you balance it out, you know it's it's good, right? So we have middle bar. It's hard to see. And middle bar, yeah, okay, so we're gonna just cook this off. Cook off the rice. And we're done. And this is what I was trying to explain. See, even if you shut it off, it leaks. So we have to go all the way into here. And actually shut off the hot water. And it's done. So. <sighs> that water was delish. I think I'm going to have an apple now. And after that, uh, maybe answer a few questions, interact a bit. Now I'm going to have to move on with my life after that. Unfortunately, if I can, I want to do something like a 24 hour or 12 hour. Now, if I say 24 hours, you know, that's a bit excessive. I don't know what I would talk about. Hey, that's weird. I just got a text message with someone saying my name. But um, uh, I don't know who that is. I'm going, it's kind of creepy. You need to brush your teeth. I have to brush my teeth. You know, I haven't, I haven't brushed my teeth yet today. I woke up at two and I just, oh, one sec. My mom is back. Wait, wait. Yes. Just, just one sec. Sorry. I'm going to bring the camera down and um, uh, we might have to end the stream, but one sec. Yeah, since my um, uh, since my since my mom is home now, maybe I think I'll end the stream. Help her out with some stuff. So it's good. It's good we got the chicken out of the way, the pork out of the way. But thank you to everyone who tuned into today's live stream. It was a bit short, just an hour and twelve minutes. It is what it is. I might live stream again tonight, so tune in if you're interested. But um, well, no, it's not that. Stop being awkward. It's just that she wants to keep her privacy, and um, you know, if she just slips up and says my name i don't want to get doxxed later so um uh, yeah that's why that's the situation but anyways i just feel bad there's 28 people in the stream and um uh, it is what it is but um i'm just gonna i think i'm gonna cut the stream here i might i might come in i might hop in for another just chat live stream tonight just one quick one hour something like that but uh yeah that's right yeah <laughs> into the void hey thanks so much cross i appreciate it Anyways, thank you for watching today's stream. We might we might hop back live for another hour. And what were the texts from work? Uh, there was some kind of situation with the water, I think. I'm not too sure. But anyways, yeah. Maybe next time. Anyways, see you in the next video. See you in the next stream. Hope you guys have a good day. Might might come back on live for another hour later on tonight. It is what it is. But uh, see you later. Hope you guys have a good day. Have a nice weekend. Have a have a good have a good day. And good. Uh, hello, good day, goodbye, wherever you are.